What's up guys, welcome to yet another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about Lewis Hamilton and his car collection. You guys quite enjoyed the last video we made on Kylie Jenner and put loads of suggestions down below. Uh, Lewis Hamilton was one of those, so thank you so much for taking part in that video. I hope you guys will enjoy this one just as much. Anyways, we're sat by the fire again. We're still in confinement and we're gonna talk about one of the most ludicrous car collections in the world. You guys all know Lewis Hamilton, right? Six time Formula One world champion. Unfortunately, most of the races are postponed or canceled this year. So it's gonna be hard for him to get a seventh title this year, potentially, and match Michael Schumacher. But he is uh, definitely, definitely one of the greatest of all times when it comes to Formula One. So naturally, he's a petrol head and that is reflected in his rather insane collection of supercars based between Monaco, where he spends most of his time, London and LA, he has cars scattered all over the world. So we're gonna start with what he's got in London. To our knowledge, he's just got a comfortable cruiser. Just got a comfortable cruiser. A Mercedes Maybach S600. Now, are there any ties? Is that a loan car from Mercedes? I'm not entirely sure. Seeing as Lewis Hamilton is obviously the number one Formula One driver for Mercedes, he maybe gets some deals on those cars. But he has that. Finished in white is an absolutely stunning spec with the Maybach rims and the cream interior. Very, very cool car to waft around in around London. He has a driver who drives him around, so he sits and relaxes in the back. Now let's move on to his Monaco collection. Now, fairly predictably, Lewis has a few Mercedes in his collection. So he's had in the past, we're not sure if he's still got it, a Mercedes SL65 AMG Black Series. Absolutely stunning. Very, very rare car, V12 by Turbo. And the Black Series are the hardcore versions of AMGs, which are already the hardcore versions of Mercedes. So it kind of suits him perfectly to have one of those. He's also got another Black Series, and that's the SLS Black Series, limited to about 350 worldwide, over 600 horsepower, and naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 rear wheel drive car. Absolutely awesome. Red, which is a very, very rare color for the SLS Black Series. There are only 15 of those made in right-hand drive and all the others were actually left-hand drive. His is left-hand drive and he keeps it down here in Monaco. Again, not too sure if those were, they had a deal on those, um, but they are two collector's items now, which have flown up in value and are great for Lewis to just have sitting in his car collection here in Monaco. He's also got one of the, well, he's got a few of the rival's cars. So he's had in the past a few McLarens, obviously when he was driving there, he had an MP4-12C back in the day. And now he's actually got a McLaren P1, an absolutely beautiful spec as well. A dark blue. Now he's, we've barely ever seen this car driving around. It's got completely tinted windows that you can't see inside. And it is, you know, thought to still be kept here in Monaco. There were videos of him picking it up at the dealership in Monaco. It is just one of a few hypercars that Lewis has. And he hasn't only stuck to McLaren, he's also gone over to the other rivals, Ferrari. And one of the most stunning cars he's got is a Ferrari 599 GTO, which he has in a dark olive green. He's an awesome car, obviously very limited production. V12, just absolutely stunning. A uh, single clutch gearbox on that. It's got the same engine as in the Ferrari Enzo, the uh, second to last hypercar that Ferrari made. It's just really, really cool and very rare in that color. Now, Lewis has like a, a real thing for specking his cars. And he's got, I think, fantastic taste in the way he specs his cars. So between the blue McLaren, the red SLS black, the olive green 599 GTO, his Monaco garage is coming together really nice. There is one more car that he's got in Monaco, but we're actually gonna leave that for the end of the video because it is the masterpiece and I think it's maybe even my favorite car in the whole world. So we're gonna leave that to the end and we're gonna move on to his Los Angeles car collection. And we're gonna stay on the Ferrari theme because he has two Ferraris in Los Angeles and not just any old Ferraris, he has two Ferrari LaFerraris. He has a coupe version of the LaFerrari, which is actually a very particular spec as well. I believe it's Rosso Fuoco, the color. Uh, it's a deep triple layer paint, which is, I mean, well over $50,000 to have that paint on your car. And he's actually gone and painted the roof, which is quite rare on LaFerraris. Often they are red with a matte black or a carbon fiber finish on the roof. He actually painted the roof in a matching body color, then painted the rear diffuser as well, which was the first time I'd ever seen this on a LaFerrari and actually 
actually looks really, really cool. He's then also got little accents on the black rims and the tinted windows, of course, as seems to be a tradition with his cars. And he's been seen driving that car around LA quite a bit, and he's actually lent it to people like Justin Bieber and been driving around with him in it before. So yeah, he loves that car, seems to drive it around when he's there, and it is an absolutely awesome spec. But he did not stop there because he then went and got himself a white LaFerrari Aperta. Now, each one of these is well over $3 million, especially on the secondhand market, but we believe that he got them actually from new from Ferrari. Only 150 of the Aperta versions of the LaFerrari uh, will ever be made have been made and they're all out of production now and 499 of the coupe is a very very rare car appreciating massively and then the LaFerrari Aperto was actually only made I believe in three four colors black white yellow and red um, and he's got his in white which I believe is a triple layer awesome car same technical specs as the coupe just under a thousand horsepower naturally aspirated v12 which is aided by a hybrid system it is a stunning stunning looking machine Lewis didn't stop there he actually went classic as well and bought some older cars such as his 1966 Cobra 427. Now, this is a hugely special car. It's an original. So the time when he bought it, it's estimated to have been worth around 1.6 million dollars so you can tell that there's quite a theme of a few of his cars being worth over a million dollars but it's an absolutely stunning machine with a massive amount of history produced of course by the legend himself carol shelby and this is another car which he keeps in la alongside another classic his mustang eleanor with around 355 brake horsepower really really pretty color finished in ruby red you can see a photo of him with his bulldogs next to the car and this is a car which cost probably around 250 to 300,000 for a clean original version of the car so really cool that he's got those two american icons based in the states it's a really really nice touch i mean what a garage he's got there between two laferraris two of the most iconic american or if arguably the most iconic american classic cars and muscle cars it's pretty cool he's then actually got another mercedes which again he's believed to keep out in la which is a mercedes g63 amg 6x6 a beast and probably LA is one of the only places you can actually maneuver this thing around. It's a six wheel version of the G63 AMG, one of the oldest, most unchanged until recently models uh, that Mercedes produced. Now V8 by turbo, loads of power as well, but mainly this thing is just massive and it's sort of impressive in its size. Very limited production as well. And these were around 700 to $800,000. So a pretty pricey ride as well. Last car he's actually got in LA is rather predictably an AMG AMG GTR finished in white. This guy has been seen actually like with the likes of Serena Williams in a car park just uh, getting into his nice AMG. They are really, really cool. They're the hardcore version of the most recent sports car from AMG produced from top to bottom from AMG. It's a bit more of a track version. There will be a Black Series version of that coming out at some point, I'm sure. And I'm pretty sure Lewis will be in line to get one of those. So that's probably one car he's got his, his eyes on is the Black Series version of his AMG GTR. But another one he certainly got his eyes on is the AMG Project 1, the hypercar from AMG, which actually is rumored to use his very own 2015 Formula One engine. So they're going to be using engines directly arrived from Formula One in all of the models, but for his and for one ordered by Nico Rosberg, apparently they're gonna be using their actual engines from their Formula One cars in 2015, which is so cool. Um, and of course, Lewis Hamilton is gonna be getting one of those. We don't know whether he's gonna be getting the first. I mean, it would be you know fairly logical and easy to assume that he will maybe be getting the first one delivered to a client in the world. And I'm sure he will do another spec, uh, which is pretty crazy to go along with the, the really cool specs on his other cars. This is gonna be one of the most mental cars on the road, one of the cars I'm most excited personally about seeing on the road. There are rumors that they're struggling to getting the car to idle at the moment, so they're not sure if they're going to be able to leave the Formula One engine in there, but it definitely looks really cool. And with the Formula One style steering wheel on the interior, something to look forward to and something I'm sure Lewis is very excited to see and own very soon. Now for what for me is the best car in the collection, please comment down below what you think the coolest car in Lewis's collection is and which one you would want to walk away with. There are so many to choose from, but for me, this car has a special place in my heart. It is his Pagani Zonda 7 60. This is a just absolutely stunning. It's actually called the Zonda 760 LH after Lewis Hamilton, of course. I've been lucky enough to actually see the car in the flesh before, and it is just stunning. Exposed purple carbon fiber, got purple accents all around the exterior and the interior. Naturally aspirated, 760 horsepower V12, linked to a manual gearbox. One of the greatest, if not the greatest sounding car of all time. It is, ah, it is, it's just porn. It's car porn. It's absolutely stunning. Now, obviously, 
think this probably cost him around 2 million to 3 million, if not more. Some people even say 5 to 6 million euros when he first ordered it back in the day. I mean, you know, this is coming up to maybe about 10 years ago now. So yeah, pretty special car that he's owned for a while. That car is now easily worth, I think, around 10 million euros because one, it is so famous and it's a one-off. It's never really been reproduced. There'll only ever be one 760 LH. Now, there are rumors that he actually had an accident in the car on the Fairmont corner on the Formula One racetrack in Monaco, which is pretty ironic for the Formula One world champion that he had an accident in a road car. There, no one was hurt. Front end of the, of the car had to go back apparently a million euros in reparations. So a pretty pricey little mistake he made there. It was the middle of the night. Apparently he was taking friends for a ride. But yeah, awesome, awesome looking thing. Completely custom made. And some will say that is the ultimate car he has in his collection. For me, at least it is. But there is one more, of course, that stands out which is potentially his most recent acquisition, which is his McLaren F1. Definitely the most expensive car in his collection, apparently bought at auction. This is another one that he keeps in Los Angeles. And uh, the rumor has it that he bought this car for over $15 million. And it has chassis number 44, which is his actual race number, which is just so cool. Now, there isn't too much information about this yet online. There's only one photo of him driving down Rodeo Drive in Los Angeles in his McLaren F1, which is finished in silver absolutely stunning as well and those have to be I mean they're the most expensive they're the most rare cars that Lewis owns and uh, just so cool that he actually has you know two LaFerraris a McLaren P1 he's gonna have project one he's got a Zonda he's got a 599 GTO and all the way at the end there the most recent acquisition chassis number 44 McLaren F1 a car which is going up in value absolutely massively it has got a beautiful V12 engine held the uh, top speed record at over 240 miles an hour for ages until the Bugatti Veyron took it, BMW produced engine, gold plated to keep the heat out, it's just the details of it are awesome. It's a three-seater configuration inside where the driver actually sits in between two passengers. So, so cool. So Lewis definitely, you know, while we all know it's no secret, he is one of the greatest of all time on track. He also has I think one of the greatest car collections, modern car collections, with a few ancient older ones in there of all time as well. So very, very cool. Great to see he enjoys cars both on track and on the road and yeah. excited to see what he has to his collection in the years to come. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment any other people you want us to see make this kind of video on. There are so many options out there. So we're gonna be looking at the comments and just, yeah, thank you so much for taking part in this, watching this, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Stay safe, guys, please. Subscribe, and I'll see you in not too long. Bye-bye.